everybody we are back it is taped on live favorite is podcast favorite is channel favorite is everything we are back you already know what to do hit the subscribe button subscribe 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 hit the like button if you like it hit the dislike button if you don't like it leave a comment if you like it leave a comment if you don't like it also follow us on twitter at the mark john nfl for me at bd williams 18 for bd and of course panda subs Dot com use TDF for 35% off. So today we're going over Haas. You know, probably maybe if you heard of Haas Y Juke or Haas Z Juke, we're gonna go over what Haas is and kind of a little uh a look at that and kind of see what the variations is. It's kind of a a big kind of famous play, a little bit that you know they like to run with over at with Joshua Daniels and the McDaniel system, right? So we're gonna run this and uh, check it out and see what it's like. So you guys ready? Let's let's get into it. All right. So you see the graphic here. Go back here. See the graphic. They kind of cut a couple of things. You could call it. Sometimes they call it horse. As you'll see, you get the uh, curl route, right? Or you know, hitch. We want to call it hitch route. And then you get the seam and a curl on this one. So it has an adjustment, so they call it a horse, right? But Haas is just a hitch and seam, right? And they call it a half of its lock. So they're just kind of, little mix it up for them a little bit. But main thing is called Haas. You see these hitch and seams. Sometimes you'll see these things switch up that it would be horse, but most of the time it is Haas. Okay, so let's get into it. So what is Haas? We'll see Haas here played out. So we're getting the hitch on the outside here, and then we're getting the seam from Jacoby Myers. All right, gets a little cover three from the Titans. Curl flat, hook, curl flat. Right. And Mac Jones does a good job reading this. See, you see the flats going out to the hitch right there no press coverage so he's running the hitch then you have the seam going right down the middle right there good throw by mac jones so good read by mac jones there see it one more time get it right in the seam right between that cover three good read um first down good catch oh he dropped it new raiders Cody myers dropped the pass all right, so here we go. Another one, hitch and seam. This time out of a play action, a little hitch and seam, right? Kind of a diff from a different set. We're getting the, uh, the, the, the seam from Darren Waller and the hitch from Devontae Adams. All right, this time, you know, they're doing a little bracket coverage, kind of basically cover two here, but they're double teaming. Adams leaves Darren Waller wide open on the, on the seam. Derek Carr hits him off the play action. Play pressure gets there. Big play first down. So you see it with the coverage here, kind of mix it up, right? Against kind of the cover two look. You know, we're, you know, we're getting a bracket matchup here. You know, they're bracketing Devontae Adams, but at least Darren Waller wide open right in the middle field. Now, now we're getting to, to the cool stuff, right? This is the cool one. Haas Zijuk, right? This is this is uh, the Julian Edelman play. Wes Welker they used to eat off this play. And Hunter Renfro does a pretty good job running these routes. I mean, I think they, they run this a lot more with Hunter Renfro. They really spam this against the Cardinals. You know, this is healthy Hunter Renfro. They really spam this play. So uh, we're going to watch it. So basically, you get an added juke here. So you get an added, basically, it could be a drag. It could be a stop or it could be a return, right? A kind of a whip route. So it's a little bit of an option route there for the slot. So I mean, it gives Derek Carr, any quarterback, a lot of options here, right? You get two hitches, got the seams, and you can also read this out and decide you want to go to Renfro, right? So here he goes to Renfro here. Renfro is a good route right there for the first down. So you see, hitch seam, hitch seam. Both sides, you get Jacobs on here. And get a nice little play. Nice little game there. There we 
go. And this is, you know, another one right here. So we get Adams here. Instead of the same thing that, you know, Derek Carr does, is I, just, I, just, I just don't understand why you. I mean, is there pressure here? I just throw Adams. <laughs> or, you know, or you see this one right here. I mean, I know who fought that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the seams on this play. That, that's, that's why I like this play a little bit. Because I think if you attack the seams and you're aggressive and you attack the seams on this play, kind of like what Mac Jones did, you can get some big plays out of this because that's a big play right here, right? And he's not looking there, and maybe he's looking at Darren Waller, but he was going hitch the whole way. He's going hitch the whole time here to Jacobs. Maybe he thought he could get one on one here with Jacobs or something. I don't know what he's thinking. I, but it's, it's just like I would look, I think you're supposed to look at the seam first. It's just my guess. I was, I don't know if I'm wrong, but you know, and I just would work the Devontae Adams side anyways. Just because that's just me, but I just feel like you just got this, you know, you just got to attack the seams. I mean, you saw Derek Carr didn't really attack the seams sometimes. And you see Jared Sidham here not attacking the seams as well. But we saw Mac Jones do it, right? Because <laughs> yeah, I think that that's a big part of this play is attacking the seams, keeps these guys honest. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little look at Haas. Um, you know, it's uh, one of the staples of this offense. So, Really hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.